Hello guys, welcome to Webtrix Home. In this video, I'm gonna explain how the bootstrap model works. Yeah, I can understand you have been, you might have been copying it from some source and putting it to your website, but you might be wondering about how it works, right? What are all those classes for? So I'm gonna show you that in this video. And you can see I've got all the bootstrap associated files on my head section here, right? I've given it a nice little title as well. And I've got all the same structure here. So let's start with the div. So if we're adding model header first and see how what it does. So you can see that nice little padding and the border bottom and model header. That's what the model header class does, right? So we go with the model body. Let's add a bootstrap form here. Let's see how it appears. Yep. So the model body also works on the padding only, right? And we'll add model footer and we'll create a button here. So you can see the button is on the right and there's a nice little margin on, sorry, border on top with model footer, that's what it does. So let's add model content and see what it does. So you can see there's the, just the box out of there, then add model dialog and see what it does. So it's just about the size, right? what you want so if you want bigger you can use model LG behind that so the model gets bigger if you want smaller you can use model SM and if you want the medium you don't need to use model MD because the default will be the medium size all right so let's add the class model and that will hide the model from being displayed prevent the model from being displayed here you go all right so now we'll create a button that will toggle the model right so we'll add some class here yep and then we'll use data toggle model and a trif or data target that works same right and then give the model class here dot model and you see the model is open right now what you're going to do is add some styling here if you see the model is appearing in a flash so we'll add some light, nice little fading effect here so add more fade behind the model class and see what it does right click on the button and you see the model appearing in a different way, right? Nice little fading effect. Now we'll be adding the cl close close button there. So we'll be adding it in the header. We'll give it a button and let's write the character HTML character here. So you can see the button is on the left. Add the class close in the button and see how it works. So you can see the button goes to the right. Now we want to make it clickable so that button closes. So we'll use data dismiss model and when you do that you can see the model closes when you click on that close button all right so that's all about model so let's copy it and create a second model i'm going to show you what happens when we use the class model and the dot target we can use the video or image here i'm just gonna add the text here plain text right and see what happens so when you click one button both the models are appearing right that's the problem when you use the common class so what we do is we just remove that class from there right and add unique id to both of them so in the model we'll add id and call it in data target and do the same with the second one as well and you see when you click the respective model will only appear there so that's all about model all right i think you know you understand better right now so thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you